Alright, let's... Hello, and welcome back to our playthrough of Quest for Glory 1. Uh, when last we left, we had just uh, found out that this guy sells basic adventuring equipment. Not actually that exciting, but I included it for completion's sake. And now we are pretty much done with this screen, I think, so I'm going to head over here and look at this end of town, which... Oh my. Alright, a lot to, to look at here. Let's get started. The sign on the door which says, Gone Fishing. That, of course, is of the bakery, which seems to be closed, although there are some dried-up looking cupcakes in the window. Then the butcher shop also seems to be closed. And I'm not close enough to read the sign on that one. Still not close enough. The sign on the door says, Gone Fishing. Mm, that looks familiar. And there's a dark place that seems to have someone in there. I guess it's a it's an alley. And this is the tavern, which looks rather rundown. And over here is a workshop of some sort. So I'm guessing I can't go into the uh, butchers or the bakers right now. Let's see about this this place here. Not close enough to a door. Um, how about now? It appears to be locked. All right, we'll leave that for now. And you notice that the message that just came up here was that I'm so exhausted, everything I do hurts. If we look at my uh, character sheet here, you see that that corresponds to having run out of stamina, and my health has started going down. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check what time it is. Mid afternoon. So I guess I should rest a little bit. And it only lets you rest in 10 minute segments, which is kind of annoying because you don't get much back. Sort of like a recording. If you look here, I rested for 20 minutes and I got 5 points back. Well, that just gets worse. But, um, I'm gonna rest a couple more times until it tells me I can't. Too impatient to rest right now. So, at this point... Check the time again. Sunset approaches. I better uh, kind of hurry stuff up because once it gets dark, I don't want to be out. So oh. I'm going to go in here and talk to this guy. Oh, I'm for the poor. And let's look at him. A thin man with very patched clothing holds out an empty bowl. It's a vessel made of staves, headings, and hoops, more commonly known as a barrel. This barrel reeks of troll's sweat. And nice place. How does this guy expect to make a living begging in this alley? I will ask him his name because I am nice like that. Silver for the poor. I'm pretty sure that's not actually a name, but I will go ahead and give him some silver. Thanks. You know, it's really tough trying to make a living begging in this town since the brigands started scaring all the tourists right away. This used to be such a nice place to live. My advice to you is not to take up begging. It just doesn't pay. And don't go out at night. Tell me about these brigands. Thieves prowl the streets at night. They don't bother me because I have nothing to steal. The brigands are worse. They sure hurt business. No one's getting rich but them. Hmm. hmm. Thieves prowl the streets at night, do they? That might be useful since we are ourselves a thief. Uh, I'm going to ask about... Uh, Oh, I'll ask about the knight, because he's talking about it quite a lot. I remember when people used to stroll around town at night. Now the only people out late are the thieves. And outside of town, man, you don't dare go out there after dark. The night gaunts will get you for sure. Night gaunts. Nobody has ever lived to tell what the night gaunts are. I sure don't want to find out. Uh, tell me about your uh, your work here. A bad girl who gets cash only when others get cash, and nobody's got much money here right now. Um, I'm gonna ask about the town. I'm afraid I can't tell you much about that. How about the Baron? About time I go back to work. Alms for the poor. Alms. Uh, well, I guess I I could. Uh, what if I'm wanting to? Don't drink the dragon mm. breath. I could have paid him more and asked him more questions, but that's really the, the essentials of talking to the beggar right there, who I forgot to get his name. It's actually Sam. He's a nice guy, I guess, but uh, we don't really, we don't really uh, need to talk to him too much. We've got our points. We can go on. A hero walks into a bar. 
So, the grimy window lets a little light into this tavern. It smells like stale ale and other more unpleasant things. The floor is covered with dirt and the bar with sticky beer. Charming. Smoke appears to be rising from the center cask behind the bar. To your right, two gamblers are playing cards. So I'm guessing that that center cask there is the dragon's breath, which the beggar warned me not to drink. The bartender glares at you as you enter, and so does the ugly goon to the left. You get the impression you are not welcome. Well, I'm going to look around here. I'm going to start by looking at that ugly goon. This goon looks really tough and mean. He's not someone to pick a fight with. He is, I notice, sitting on a trap door. There appears to be a trap door beneath the goon, but he's blocking it very effectively. Okay, so if I want to get down there, I guess I have to figure out how to get past him. So this is where the barber goes to lunch. The guy's had so much liquid diet, he looks embalmed. <laughs> For the record, the barber is always out to lunch, and it always means here. The world-famous troll sweat is always fresh. Uh, I'll pass, thanks. Dragon's Breath is the house specialty, and is Crusher's personal favorite. That even looks dangerous. And that is some of the finest ale in the valley. And the bartender looks tough from his crew cut to his boots. The only thing soft about him is his tattoo, which says Mama. So, that doesn't look good. It says, not a pleasant sight. I think I won't sit on that chair. And these guys over here, the man on the west side of the table is wearing a blood-stained apron like a butcher. I guess that's probably the butcher who is going fishing. And the man on the east has a baker's hat. That's kind of weird. Maybe I'll go talk to them. They don't seem to be paying any attention to you. Got any... 634s? Go fish! Huh. So that's what they meant by gone fishing. Now, one more thing here. Looks like the only place to sit is at the bar, but what I'm interested in is this little... You can see this little kind of white speck here. You see a crumpled piece of paper under the stool. So, what's that? You pick up the note. You smooth out the piece of paper and read, B. He's starting to act suspicious. Better save this drop for emergencies. Hmm. So, it's from B and addressed to B. That's it? not the ba it's from Baker, probably. So, let's check the time. I've still got a bit of uh, technical daytime here. I could hang out here some more and talk to the tavern keeper and so forth, but I'm thinking that it's kind of near dinner time and maybe that merchant is at the inn, if you remember Shamin, the innkeeper said that he would be. So I'm going to go back that direction. And the centaur is gone, which happens when it gets near nightfall. And the sheriff is also gone. And Auto, of course, with him. So, I will just head over here. If I can open the door. Mm -hmm. The door is giving you a lot of trouble in this particular playthrough. <laughs> I must not like me all that much. Um, why don't I change from uh, running that? Did it? <laughs> <laughs> this is my super sneaky thief walk, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, which is slow, so I don't stick with it. I should mean I'm gonna go see what... Oh, it is indeed sad and dangerous times we live in when a man who struggles daily to keep from starving should be robbed of all his earthly possessions. Oh, uh, gosh, that's kind of melodramatic. Uh, let's sit and see what this guy has to say. Oh, hi. Who are you? I am Shima. Allow me to serve you, Wanderer from afar. Do you wish food or drink? Uh, well, tell me about this food, I guess. We have a very good stew of number nine, along with honey chicken for near three silvers. Mm. Yes. And a drink. Mm. We have rich black coffee, freshly ground and brewed, as only my people do. Such coffee will bring you to your full alertness. We also have tea of the rest herbs, which will quench the thirst of the mm. desert. Each is only one silver. No. Well, I think I'm going to buy some food. I wouldn't recommend doing this on a daily basis because three silvers, it adds up, but it's my first night in town, and I think I'm going to be a little wild here. 
With great pleasure will I serve you a fine meal. And now I'm going to ask this guy his name. I am Abdullah Du, son of Ali, grandson of Hassan, and formerly master merchant of Shapir. Now I am but a penniless burden upon my friends. Wow, that guy is uh, kind of down. Alright, I guess I'm, I'm going to, when Shima has served my food here. I bring you uh, what you ordered. May I please and satisfy you? You thank Shima and pay her. And now, because of time limits, I'm going to have to cut off here. We'll be back to interrogate Abdullah Du in the next video.